In this video, I want to look at how I am getting questions from existing classic quizzes into my question banks, as the process is um, a, a little unusual. What you're looking at here is my test one, and I have access to my question banks uh, from my quizzes screen. If I go back to quizzes, where I can see all my quizzes, the right on the right side are three dots. I can go to manage question banks and from there I can access my question banks. Now I've aligned my question banks to line up with course learning outcomes. Each of these question banks is aligned to a single course learning outcome. And so each of these uh, items that you see here aligns to course learning outcome number one and I've set mastery at 80%. So when you want to do that, you just add a course learning outcome. But in this case, I'm not going to add any further course learning outcomes. So I have one course learning outcome per bank. But I've already built my quizzes, and so get, I was surprised at how I can get existing questions in. It turns out that if you edit this name at the top, this will put this into uh, the unfiled questions question bank. If you look here, my unfiled questions question bank has no questions in it. So I'll go back to test one, and this is a process I'm going through now. And these test banks will eventually list things in uh, alphabetic order. So I'm going to put this in the 0226 IQR. This is chapter two, section two, question six, essentially. This will come back to haunt me later when I try to insert questions in between, but I'll work on that later because in the future I plan to add questions only from the question bank, not in this strange process. But I started with the quiz and I'm filling up the bank. Now all I have to do is uh, update the question. Of course, I could make other changes. Once I've done that, this is a one-time deal. Once I've done that, if I go back to my question banks, I'll see that there's now a question in the unfiled questions. There's my IQR question. It's automatically been put in the IQR bank, and I can now either move it individually, or uh, I'll usually build up a bunch and then move it, um, move multiple questions at one time to the correct bank. You can also copy things, so you can store questions in more than one bank. This is a one-time event. If I now edit this question, it does not seem to have any effect on the banked question. And I now know that the right way to have done this was to have started with a question bank, such as this one here, the MS150.1 bank, and then added to this bank itself with add a question. This dialog will look just like your classic quizzes dialog box. I'm working in classic quizzes because new quizzes and question banks still have issues. But you can see here that I've got a standard and I give it a name and so I can give it whatever name I want give, and build my question just as if I was in a classic quiz. It's hopping a bit because it's still loading images way up here are all coming in still. But that lets me build up my, my bank and then what I do to build tests and quizzes is to pull them from the bank, to never compose here at the quiz question level, but instead at the very bottom where it says find questions. I just click on find questions and there will be my questions. And then I can select those that I want or those that I don't want to. At a more advanced level, you can also set up question groups. I haven't done that but you can set up question groups. And I haven't looked, looked into this, but you can set up groups and then pull things from, from groups. That's not something I've tried to do at this point. I don't even know exactly how you set these things up. But the questions can then be pulled potentially uh, from a, a bank uh, as, as a random pull from a particular bank if you've designed your banks for that particular design. So now uh, this question group structure down here, you can link it to a question bank and pull questions and points per question. Now here I'm in the test 
test 01. I don't use this, but it would allow you, if you've built up a nice big question bank, to pull questions from the bank. You can't pull from multiple banks on one group. The group can only pull from a single bank, from what I've read. But again, that's beyond where I'm going. And from now on, I've learned that I should be composing questions really in the banks and then adding them from the banks down to the test. Once they're in the test, I can edit them and change them without affecting the bank. The bank acts like a master that I uh, make a copy of at the test level. But it's a lot more efficient way to work with things. And I should be remiss if I didn't mention this. When I went to align the outcomes, these three outcomes that are here are not ones that I manually entered. No, I did not manually enter those. Those three, very important, but this kind of runs underneath everything I do. Those three are coming from the outcome screen. You can see I'm in the outcome screen now for my course. Find, and I go to Account Standards, College of Micronesia, and the courses are being listed in here. No, not all of the courses are in yet, but uh, I'm working my way through. That's a task I have. If your course is not yet listed, please let me know. That's my job. I'm currently partway down the list of courses. There are hundreds of outcomes to put in, and I'm working on it. So you'll see some that are rather incomplete at this point. A number of them are rather incomplete. So if you don't see your course learning outcomes, let me know. Because by using the course learning outcomes, I've used the ones for my course. They come from here. That's the one I used. I've imported it down to my course level. And so whenever I add an outcome to something, it's flowing through from the institutional level. And that will mean that I'll be able to report it out at the institutional level. I'll be able to report out learning by outcome. And so I'll be able to do assessment from the institutional level and drive dashboards that show performance by outcome across any course that happens to be using a particular outcome. Uh, although currently our outcomes are local to a course. But the, that's an important part of what I'm doing. My These three outcomes that you see here came from the institutional level and they are the ones I'm using in quizzes uh, in the quiz banks that you see that's what I'm using here I I created the bank but you just add question bank and you can create the bank but the bank itself I pull up my bank is aligned and the outcome that I picked up is the one of the funds I imported from the institutional level. So I know I'll be able to get assessment to generate automatically back to the institutional level from my quizzes and and uh, test these classic quizzes because they're coming off of the banks themselves. And I'll uh, be able to report, I hope, on that later this summer and show, see whether or not uh, all of this works as I hope. Thank you, and as always, if you have questions, let me know.